All right, we're going to do an integral involving the inverse hyperbolic functions. Okay, when you first look at this, you may recognize that it looks something like an inverse hyperbolic because of the square root of the one plus x, but things are a little bit weird. However, if we do a quick u substitution, letting u equal the square root of x, then du is one over twice square root of x dx. I happen to have the one over square root of x dx, so this turns into twice, this is one over the square root of, excuse me, one plus u squared du. Okay. Interestingly enough, when you first saw this, you might have expected this to somehow turn into a secant, but at this point we actually see that it is not, because this outside term totally disappeared in the u substitution. Okay. Now we're going to use our inverse hyperbolic rules. The tool two comes along for the ride, and we end up with ln of u plus the square root of one plus u squared, which when we undo our substitution, gives us the answer to our question.